Realistic or not? We went from an era where carnivores were overestimated to an era where herbivores, because they were said to be underestimated, also began to ultimately be overestimated. We will start with Edmontosaurus, herbivores which have long been considered as mobile food for carnivores, but which are now capable of defeating all carnivores that exist. Is this true? Well, we are going to compare two species of Edmontosaurus, Anectons and Regalus, against their natural predators, the Tyrannosaurus rex. The Edmontosaurus Anectons appendages measure 12 meters long and 7.3 t on average. Edmontosaurus Regalus measures 9 meters long and 4.4 t. The Tyrannosaurus measures on average 7.5 trillion and 12 meters long. Okay, Regalus has no chance against a Tyrannosaur in combat but maybe Anectons will survive. The two are approximately the same size. The Tyrannosaurus is just heavier by 1,000 to 300 kilograms. However, one element makes the Tyrannosaurus victorious most of the time during confrontations. The big advantage of the Tyrannosaur is its bite force, which is approximately 431,000 PSI. The equivalent, not of a car, but of 30 cars on the equivalent of a fingernail. In fact, if Tyrannosaurus manages to bite Edmontosaurus, the Edmontosaurus is already dead in advance, unlike Triceratops. The Edmontosaurus has no protection and has no weapons, not to mention its powerful feet. In fact, Edmontosaurus is a bit like the Mesozoic horse. It is more likely that the Edmontosaurus never attacked the Tyrannosaurus but preferred to flee. It is more logical. They are faster, however, during a fight. If the two specimens are of average size, the Tyrannosaurus has almost all his chances. So, if finally the Tyrannosaurus rex as well as big predators like Giganotosaurus or Tyrannodotan can defeat Edmontosaurus with some difficulty, why does everyone say that Edmontosaurus wins against all carnivores? In fact, all this comes from the discovery of a tail of Edmontosaurus measuring 7.6 meters. Longer than the largest current crocodile, this specimen is an Edmontosaurus anectans named MR1609 or X-Rex, estimated at 15 trillion and 16 meters long, much larger than a Tyrannosaurus. For example, the largest Tyrannosaurus discovered is a specimen called E.D. Cope or Copium Rex discovered in 1999 perhaps soon to be dethroned by Bertha. The latter is valued at 12.3 meters long and 10.60 long, but it's nothing compared to an X-Rex. But size doesn't make strength all the time. As he said, the Tyrannosaurus has a super powerful bite force, which makes it far too threatening. Triceratops has horns far too formidable. If a normal sized Triceratops had to fight X-Rex, this does not it's not unlikely that he will win thanks to his horns, but suddenly, Tyrannosaurus wins again against X-Rex, well no. X-Rex is just way too big, and the Tyrannosaurus jaw is way too small. A Tyrannosaurus could tear off a finger from X-Rex before getting crushed and sent straight to Valhalla. However, X-Rex is not that a single individual. The majority of Edmontosaurus had much more modest sizes, and the majority of Tyrannosaurus had the advantage over Edmontosaurus, so we can conclude that, no. Edmontosaurus is not capable of defeating all carnivorous dinosaurs. Thanks for watching.